does it mean? What does it look like? Are you proposing to me? Yes. So, Laura, will you marry me? Is this a joke? Tell me, are you kidding? <clears throat> Laura, I... I didn't mean to offend you really, believe me. I am really sorry. So why are you lying saying that you love me? Because I do. Why don't you believe me? Do you think I'm a liar? <laughs> oh really, you love me? So we went on one date and you fell in love right away and now you want to get married. Do you really think I'm that naive? Laura, I understand that my proposal is not that dramatic, but I'll improve it. I'll no, do wait. everything I can so that next time you will I'm not I'm not be talking so... about that. I just think that we're too different and I don't think our relationship will work out. And to be frank, I only took your invitation on a date because I wanted my revenge on you. You hurt me when you started dating Katya, especially after I told you all about myself and opened myself to you. Well, I admit it. I did the wrong thing. I'm sorry. Laura, let me ask you something. You did have feelings for me before, right? And now, is it really over? Listen, I'm not asking you to answer immediately. I understand, you have to think it over. Well, I don't know what to say. Yes? I'm not ready yet to get married, and honestly, I have no idea when I will be ready. Maybe there's another reason? You fancy someone else? Is it Kostya? Kostya is a really good guy. So I have zero chance? Yes, I'm afraid. Sorry. Are you sure you want to see me near you? What is going on with him these days? Everything was okay, so where did these doubts come from? And I told him that. Hello. How are the kids? Hello, Katya. Kids are already asleep. So, I decided to wait for you. How was the first day on the new job? Is it bad? Is it hard? Or are the bosses too strict? Something wrong? Did something bad happen to you? No, the job is not hard and the boss are okay. Just a bad day. Firstly, Roman and Laura came to the tavern. They were sitting there like a couple. Hugs, kisses. And then one of the customers <clears throat> started pestering me. So he defended me and they got into a fight. Roman and Laura? How could he do that? He seemed to be so in love with you, so mean to leave you for that. Laura. Roman is a good actor and I'm just a fool. Everything looks like that. He wanted to sleep with me, to have some fun. And when he got bored, he turned his attention to Laura. But there's something missing. That's just not right. How could he do that to you? Alright, let this topic go. So tell me, how are the children today? Did they behave themselves? Do we need to go to kindergarten or school tomorrow? Uh, no, everything is good. But Lucia was just coughing a lot this evening, so she might be sick. Did she catch a cold? Maybe. Did I wake you? No. Good. You and I have to meet and talk soon. Not right now, but tomorrow. How about in the morning? Don't see any necessity to meet. There is one. I mean, Roma did propose to me today. Cool. I wish you a happy married life. Don't congratulate me yet. You don't even know what I told him. 
You know what, Laura? If you continue manipulating people and their feelings, you will end up alone and you will have no one beside you in your life. Goodbye. Wait, don't hang up. Yes, I admit, I wanted to make you mad a little, but I didn't plan for it to go this far. I didn't want to be proposed to. Kostya, you know if you stop being so offended, everything will be alright again. How about we just be honest with each other, would you like that? I really do like you. Very much. Do you think you like me too? At first I really thought so. But actually I was wrong. You're a little whimsical girl. Today you like one guy and tomorrow you like another guy. And what would happen next? After tomorrow? These are childish games just to make me jealous. No way, don't call me. What a fool. What the hell is wrong with me? Stupid. So how's my granny Antonina? I hope she would feel better. Maybe we should take her to the hospital again. You think it won't help? Well then I don't know what to do. Katya is really wonderful. She really loves her work. And she's pretty. Both her face and her body. She will be a good wife for someone. Dad. Yeah, she's really nice. Hardworking, kind, and she's very intelligent. There's really no one better than her, Dad. I see that you like her. So why don't you do anything? If I were you, I would try to court her. Invite her to the cinema or theater. I don't know what she likes. Don't just sit there and look at her. Didn't you think you were like that? Girls love cheeky boys. What cheeky? Come on. I'm serious. Just don't overreach yourself, Seri. Listen to your dad. I won't teach you anything bad. Just listen and learn. All right, Dad, enough. Why? I just want the best for you. If you marry a girl like her, that will make me the happiest father in the whole wide world. Are you too tired to work? You look exhausted. Zena, why are you so tough with us? What's wrong again? What's wrong? Is everything all right? One of you constantly thinks about getting drunk, and another was just fired. Things could be better. Zena, what happened? You're angry since this morning. Why would I be happy? The neighbor of Granny Antonina just called. Apparently she's sick again. It's such a bummer to be old. We'll reach that age, too. Dad, what are you talking about? Granny has Alzheimer's. Banishing Grace. Cast all evil from this place. Are you afraid that you'll forget where you have kept your bottle just for emergencies? Stop it, Zena. Zena. Is everything all right? Can I help with anything? Daddy, are you serious? After spending so many years together, everything was all right. What happened between you two? I'm sure you two can fix this. Laura, I'm sorry, but there's nothing we can do about that. I want you to remember that no matter the fact, me and your mother are not together anymore. I will love you and I will always be ready to help you. Why is the whole world turning upside down so suddenly? Now see what you've done, Ivan. Why are you torturing me and your daughter? She loves you so much. I'm begging you to change your mind. It's not too late. Daddy. Daddy, you are making a huge mistake. Laura, listen, this decision was not easy. This problem has gripped us for a long time. Too long. I hope you'll forgive me. Even though things aren't clear, you will understand what happened. No, maybe not now, but one day. But why are you leaving mom now? Why? Honey, your father and I have made a lot of mistakes. But no matter what mistakes, you still need him. And I need him too. Vika, stop. You're not in the theater. Stop pretending. Honey, we'll talk when you calm down. I have to go. Mom, what will we do? I don't know, honey. I don't know what I should do. 